Hey guys, tonight we're going to grill two racks of lamb on the Weber and we're doing it while camping. All right guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd. This is the Sassy Kitchen Queen. And we are in the wilderness. So we're camping right now up in the Eastern Sierras. Mammoth Lakes, California to be exact. It's uh, the night before Thanksgiving and we're gonna do it right with some of this beautiful lamb. I got the Weber outside uh, coming up, uh, the charcoal coming up. And uh, you know, it's kind of a, just a run and gun kind of video. We're just gonna show you how we prepare the lamb. It's really fast to cook. You don't wanna overcook lamb. Uh, it's gonna be quick. And it's going to be a really cold night, so we're going to make sure we get a nice hot meal before it gets down below zero. Not really below zero, but it's going to get in single digits tonight. Baby, tell us what kind of sauce you got on that. Well, it's um, fresh, uh, chopped fresh parsley and garlic, crushed garlic cloves and lemon, salt, pepper, mm -mm -mm. and some olive oil. Let me, get a, let me show you a better shot. Now let this sit on there a little. It's going to be yummy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think dogs are getting hungry. Our rig is equipped for cold camping. We got a heated and closed underbelly, and and uh, we got all our foods. Yeah, we got plenty of uh, beverages. All right, guys. So I'm getting the Weber ready to go. I'm doing a full chimney, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it out to the sides to create kind of the smoking or offset in the middle and around the edges is where the coals are going to be so let's show you the setup okay since it's lamb really i'm only concerned about the ambient temperature so i'm going to be using this smart troll as an ambient thermometer and then the good old thermo pro tp19 to make sure that i don't overcook it and for what what it's worth uh, i'll be throwing in some pecan around the edges just to get a little bit of flavor okay so it's a little windy and uh, I just found out a new capability of this Weber. I'm just putting the lid in there to kind of work as a wind block while this chimney's going. Okay, you can see how I did the ring. Okay, and I'm gonna throw some pecan on there. Just a little bit on each side. There. Put one just offset a little bit. Yeah, like that. Alright. Alright, man. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go fat side up. And I'm going to put the meat toward the middle. You see now where I got that temperature probe right there? That's going to help. Give me an idea of what's doing on it inside. See that? Alright. Let me get some, some of that sauce on there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I don't want to get too hot. So I'm just gonna start with that. I got the bottom wide open, that's usually what I like to do. Okay, so I set it for 325. It seems to be staying right around 305. I want it to go even less. It's got a few small cracks there. Again, the bottom's wide open. Um, maybe I should uh, choke the bottom off a little bit, so I think I'll do that. Okay, now you notice that first dot there, it's uh, wide open, okay? So go to this next dot over here. It should be a little bit, I'll just take a peek, and it is, hard to see down there, maybe I'll open it up a little bit more, there's these larger vents now that, on that one that makes three round holes uh, on the intake side, which is fine, that's wide open, and that's shut off altogether, so I think, I think that's a good setting. So it looks like the temperature is a little bit under control now. That's good. Um, that's kind of where I wanted to see it. 
ideally about 275. That's my favorite smoking temperature. Um, so it's, uh, it looks like it's climbing again. And I haven't touched the lid, although I did take that lid off. So my goal now is to keep that lid on as long as possible. Um, I'm going to give those lamb chops about a half hour and then I'll open them up and uh, do the uh, temperature probe. I'm looking for about 127 to 130 and then I'll pull them off. Okay, so now there's only, only one thing to do now is to wait about a half hour on that Weber kettle, got them beautiful lamb chops on there. Babe, where did you pick up them lamb chops? Rack of lamb. Rack of lamb. Well, she picked them up at the grocery store. Costco. Okay. Grocery store. Same Costco's a grocery store. Costco. So anyway, we've got about a half hour to go, then we're going to check them out. Um, and if uh, they look really good, then I'm going to flip them over and then get them over to the edge and try to get a, a bit of a sear, but I'm not expecting a whole lot of sear on these. Um, but with that pecan and uh, that charcoal, I am expecting some really good smoky flavor with a little bit of charcoal. All right, it's been about a half hour. Let's check them out here. And I'm just gonna do a really quick peek. Not bad, not bad. Now, it's so cold here, I don't wanna keep that lid off very long. I'm actually gonna crack open those vents a little bit more and bring that temperature up above 325. Get a little crispy on the outside, finish these off. America. guys, I just flipped these over, give you a little quick peek, okay, now the clothes are still pretty hot here, so I'm going to kind of get in between here a little bit, uh, let's see here, over here, okay, it looks like these are, these are done, we like them a little bit more well than the average person. All right, okay, those lamb, racks of lamb are done. We're gonna take them off, bring them inside and cut them open. All right, it is time. We let these things rest for about 10 minutes. Sassy wondered, hey honey, are you hungry? Of course I'm hungry. Let's check it out. This is what I'm hungry for. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, look at that. Did you get a nice ear on the other side? So, got a little sear on the other side. The other side was a fat cap, so probably oh. some fat ran away. But I don't want to lose any of it. it looks, what are you going to lose? I don't know. It looks awfully... Um, I don't know. Cover that one back rare. up. Hopefully it's not too rare. Oh, no, baby. It's uh, more on the well side because it got up to about 140 in some places. 145. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Oh. Mm, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Oh man. Perfect. Okay, well let's check this out. Look at that. Don't make a mess, honey. Beautiful color from the pecan. Kingsford charcoal, nothing special about that. About an hour total time on the Weber. You know, I went pretty much medium low. I was kind of hovering in the 300, 290 area. There we go. And um, again, I did a little ring around the rosy of charcoal, and right in the middle, I, I put these, uh, you know, and um, used uh, that pecan wood. I think it came out great. What's there left to do? Oh, taste them. Shoot. Okay. I'll go in the and I get You going to taste them? Yeah. You gotta eat these caveman or cave woman style. 
Alright, baby. <laughs> <This is my rib. laughs> what? <laughs> it did what? <laughs> I bit my lip! You bit your lip? Oh my... Oh! <laughs> Alright guys, there's only one way I can go in. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad, not bad. Perfectly seasoned, delicious. Mm -hmm. I have this crazy craving for Beaver brand creamy horseradish right now. I don't know why. But, well, we don't got any. Mm. I forgot. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, this is so good. So, if you like glamping, this is it right here. Go camping, take the Weber, do some rack of lamb. Alright, guys, that was delicious. She uh, knocked, dead, knocked it out of the park. That sauce. What was in that sauce again? Um, it was um, fresh pressed garlic, salt, pepper, fresh parsley, and lemon, and olive mm. oil. Zesty, tart, all that stuff. It was, it was good. so good. All right, guys, hope you like this. Again, this wasn't a tutorial. This was just us taking you along camping night before Thanksgiving, sharing our dinner with you guys. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Hit your, uh, what does it call that? Notifications. And um, hit us up on social media. And and, until um, next time. Oh, and boy. happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And um, thank you for supporting our channel. And we want to wish you um, wellness and Thanksgiving. Yeah. A well Thanksgiving. All right, guys. Be safe. See you later. Drink it home. <laughs>